Hello, people of the internet. This is Andrew. I'm walking past the, what used to be the old Southworks strip mall. The people in Cambridge obviously know this place. It was an old factory that was, what's the word I'm looking for? Transitioned into a mall. It had an antique store, had an awesome store that was all about the 50s. A bunch of other stuff like good stores, thrift shop, clothing stores. But as you can see, it's gone and being replaced by a fucking apartment. Like our city doesn't have enough of those. This place is gonna be super expensive though, I hear. Let me see if I can get you a good shot of it. Yeah, that is the gas light. But like usual, to build it, they had to destroy something awesome. So today I'm gonna to walk around this place, show you what happened. It really fucking sucks though. This place used to be really cool. All right guys, I'm gonna flip the camera, be right back. Okay guys, welcome back. As you can see, that is the gas light. The tower, at least. They tore down the fucking antique store for to build like a mega parking garage. Like what bullshit is this? This place used to be amazing. And of course the city had to fuck it all up. Like is this really, this is just plain ugly. up and of course it has to rain today because I had a cool video planned and the universe doesn't want me to do it like usual but fuck you universe I'm out here anyways no idle zone yeah see guys this used to be an awesome plaza now it's nothing but a fucking concrete slab charm completely out of this place. Let's we'll see if you can see in there. No lights. Yeah, you can see it. You can, you can slightly see a staircase, I guess. I think that's like the parking garage, though. See, that used to be the wall of the antique store. Right in that wall, there used to be a little cafe when you first walked in. It was pretty awesome. Anybody in Cambridge will know exactly what I'm talking about, but you're the fuckers that are destroying beautiful properties, huh? Yeah, come after me, sue me for slander or something, but you know, like, what is the meaning of all this? Oh, I'm back here. This used to be, there used to be a toy store, candy store, a bakery, that section there but look at that now what it is it's just a fucking garage a place that my parents literally will be around in a stroller is gone yeah that used to be the entrance to the old mall there because it there was like three separate factory buildings let me see if I can zoom okay, there. there we go it's three it's three separate factory buildings one was like a but the one was mostly the antique store and uh i don't know like one of those knickknack stores where you can buy pretty much fucking anything memorabilia wise the other one was a i think it was like a clothes store or something can't remember the name moved to downtown galt though yeah see look at the architecture of the old building it was all stone but not this concrete slab Right here, they built a retirement home where one of the old buildings was. See, that's nothing compared to this. Like, is this really necessary though, people? Couldn't you have built your luxury million dollar condo somewhere else that's not part of a historical place? Yeah, look at it. It's just sad though. It's really sad. I can't believe they fucking did this. 
Let's see if we can see in the windows. Like, I think this, yeah, this section was the old 50 shop. Let's see if I can see inside. What the hell are they doing in there? Yep, it's all gutted completely. they did to this place it there's nothing wrong with it it was like a perfectly cool little mall that the people of the city loved but no they need millionaires to move in is that brick there or is it just a reflection of the apartment well that's just a reflection of that there but no i don't condone this people smashing windows still even if they're vandalizing it historic the city is vandalizing their own building, but I don't condone vandalism whatsoever. Gives Urban Explorers a bad name. Just leave well enough alone. If you want to come see these places, just come document them. For future generations can see what was. Yep. Just a fucking curtain and a, is that like a little dining room here. No, not the dining room. Like cafeteria Let's see I don't know what that is whatever it is kind of cool yeah this used to be the old I don't know what this part of the mall was yeah this used to be the old mall where the toy store was this was the area where the bakery was. Like one of the coolest places that you can imagine. And there's still food there. Ironic, huh? Yeah, that must just all be plumbing though. You think you have enough coat hangers, guys? This right here, I don't know what this is yet. Maybe it's something new already. Yeah, it has the mask bylaw sign, so it must be open. Yeah, it looks like some sort of TV or monitor. But look how cool this place looks, though. And it was all destroyed so a bunch of fucking millionaires can move into our city. What's the point? What do you think we should do first? Help the homeless people that can't afford to live anywhere? Or bring a bunch of rich fucking snobs into our city? No, that's... You can't see anything from there. Let's see this window. Is it just completely... No. No, it has some sort of coating on it. I don't know. I can't literally see anything. The rain's lighting it up a bit, so. There's a banded Tim Hortons down the street. I think I'm gonna do that today, too. Yep. This used to be the old parking lot. And now it's just a part of the new monstrosity. Oh, we're, this place is gonna be good for weddings, too. Now that's wonderful. Now that's fucking wonderful. Oh, here, we can see inside this window. Yep, gutted, like everything else was. See this one? It's a little fucking, like, what's it, what it called? Like a forklift? Yeah, they drove a fucking forklift into the building. Yep. That's it. Why is there a forklift inside the old clothes store? That's kind of fucked up. At least it's... Yeah. So a lot more of this is going to be demolished too, I think, so... I'm trying to... What's that? Is that the new creative arts 
culture, modern, active modern lifestyle. Seriously, that's what it's gonna look like up there. See that picture there with the no windows and the empty ceiling? Oh, that looks fucking ugly. Yeah, because that's what it's starting to look like now. Let's see if I can give you guys a good view from here. That thing is fucking colossal though. The city of Cambridge did not need this. And shout out to a random fire extinguisher. Yay. The city of Cambridge did not need this whatsoever. And they built that during the COVID-19 pandemic. Yep, see, right there. Let me zoom in and see if you guys can see. The Gaslight Condos. This place was once called Southworks because the old factory here was called Southworks. Then it was called the Southworks Mall. Well, I think this is, there's not much to talk about. We already did a whole lap of the building, so. Yeah, oh, look exactly what they're doing there. Do remember the picture inside? That's all gonna be like some outdoor thing now. That looks so fucking ugly. Just leave well enough alone. Okay, if you wanted to shut them all down and build condos, just build them inside the old factory. That was unnecessary. Don't even have enough fucking people in Cambridge to fill that. But this is starting to become one of those touristy towns. So guys, let me try to cross the road so I can end this for you. Let me give you a good view of what was what is left of the Southworks Plaza. Yep, there it is. There she is. Rest in peace, Southworks. All right, guys, I'm gonna switch the camera. Then I'll come right back to you. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, I'm a bit too late to cover the old place before it got fucked up, but hopefully you guys saw enough of the original structure to enjoy it, like understand the former beauty of this place, but because that is just fucking ugly. That is just fucking ugly. Well, guys, like always, Live life to the fullest and goodbye, you glorious motherfuckers.